LC Sciences Degradome Sequencing Service. Degradome sequencing, also referred to as parallel analysis of RNA ends, is a modified 5' prime rapid ampli amplification of cDNA ends coupled with a high throughput next-gen sequencing method. Degradome sequencing provides a comprehensive means of analyzing patterns of RNA degradation. Degradome sequencing has been used to identify microRNA cleavage sites. Because plants microRNAs can cause endonucleolytic cleavage of mRNA by extensive and often perfect complementarity to mRNAs. When matched with microRNA sequencing data, degradome sequencing has revealed many known and novel plant microRNA targets. Before discussing degradome sequencing, we should ask the question, why study microRNA in plants and why do we want to know the targets of the microRNAs? First, for basic research and discovery. Identification of novel microRNAs in various plants, species, specific tissues, and understanding their mechanism of action and regulatory roles. Next, for stress response studies. Identification of specific microRNA-based markers that play essential roles in plant growth, development, and stress response. And last, for plant breeding. Identification of microRNAs that regulate key traits such as hybrid vigor and stress resistance could be useful for plant breeding and environmental protection programs. The mechanism of action of microRNAs in plants differs somewhat from the animal kingdom. In plants, microRNAs can cause endonucleolytic cleavage of mRNA by extensive and often perfect complementarity to mRNAs. MicroRNAs in plants tend to cause cleavage of their targets at the position between nucleotides 10 and 11 of the microRNA. There have been several strategies that have been used to identify microRNA in targets in, targets in plants. Initially, my bioinformatics is used to identify targets, but then that requires experimental confirmation. It's subject to false positives and false negatives, which means you could miss some bona fide targets. There are several gene-specific methods, such as qPCR and Western blot. However, these methods will not distinguish between direct and secondary microRNA targets. Luciferase reporter assays have also been successfully used, but they are labor-intensive, dependent on the region chosen for cloning, and can be sensitive to variances in protocol, such as the method of transfection. 5' race analysis is also effective, but it's limited by the fact that it is gene-specific. And that leaves degradome sequencing as the most effective transcriptome-wide method of efficiently and accurately determining microRNA targets in plants. This has been demonstrated in many published studies uh, in crop species, such as soybean, rice, and maize, in fruits and vegetables, such as orange and cucumber, ornamentals, such as orchid, and other genus, such as Brassica and Taxus. LC Science's comprehensive services are designed to be one-stop and produce the results needed to quickly advance your biological and biomedical research. Our total RNA to data service includes sample prep and QC, sequencing, license, sequencing library preparation, RNA sequencing, bioinformatics analysis, and high level of customer support. Our degradome sequencing services make use of the Illumina next-gen sequencing platform. We ask that you try to send 20 micrograms of total RNA for each of your samples. A typical run is a 35-cycle single-end sequencing run, which generates 20 to 30 million reads per lane. That translates into about 1 gigabase of sequencing data. We can save costs and increase throughput by barcoding and running multiple samples in a single lane. However, we recommend no more than three samples per lane, and the reason is the total number of reads does not change with barcoding. Instead, the total number of reads is split between the samples in that lane, and you end up sacrificing sequencing depth to reduce cost. There are several bioinformatic tools available for degradome sequencing data analysis. PearSNP, which was developed at the University of East Anglia, SeqTAR, developed at Fudan University, SOMART, from the University of California, Berkeley, and Cleveland, developed at Penn State University. As mentioned, we do offer data analysis as part of our degradome sequencing service. We take advantage of the Cleveland data pipeline. With Cleveland, we can identify cleavage sites, compare with a small RNA database or sequencing results, and generate high-fidelity microRNA targets. 
Confirmed microRNA targets using DigerDome sequencing are presented in the form of target plots, or t-plots. t-plots display the number of reads for the RNA transcript, and read abundancy is plotted along the length of the transcript. The t-plots identify the cleavage site within the transcript and its corresponding microRNA, and they score the transcript into one of five, category, one of five target categories based on the abundance of reads at the cleavage, cleavage position on the transcript. The complete advanced bioinformatics package includes Illumina-based calling and analysis, mapping of the degradome reads to the appropriate transcriptome using appropriate thresholds, a summary of the map degradome data into a degradome density file, prediction of small RNA and mRNA targets, comparison of the degradome density file to the target predictions and output of significant hit, and of course the t-plots of the targets. LC Science is, is dedicated to helping you design meaningful experiments, providing reliable service, and delivering the high quality results needed to keep your research moving toward discoveries. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you need help with your experimental design, have special data analysis requests, or have any questions about any of our services. Thank you.